Demands made on steel in construction are not limited to qualities such as strength and ease of erection. Innovative and attractive design concepts rely on materials that can be utilised to create appealing aesthetic features. Colour-coated steel is widely used to meet these demands. To produce Corus Colour Coat products, coils of strip steel are heated in a hydrogen-rich environment. This cleans the steel surface before passing it through a furnace with a temperature of around 750 degrees centigrade. This allows the steel to anneal. That means the hardness built up by previous processing is removed. The steel is galvanized by passing through a pot containing molten zinc or galvalloy, a mixture of zinc and aluminium. The zinc adheres to the surface of the steel, which is immediately passed through very accurately controlled jets of air, known as air knives, to wipe off excess and, whilst the coating is still in a molten state, a further air blowing process is carried out. This applies tiny particles of zinc that nucleate to form a smooth matte surface, suitable for the application of paint products. Further processes are employed to achieve high levels of surface uniformity and flatness. Extensive laboratory checks ensure the product meets stringent customer quality standards. These processes are capable of handling around 170 metres of steel strip per minute and contribute to achieving a product with the mechanical characteristics required for its end use for example, strength and formability. Treated coils are degreased and a conversion coating applied to ensure good adhesion of paint to the steel surface. The strip passes through prime and finish coating heads that consist of sets of rolls which apply a smooth and accurate coating of paint. The paint is then cured in a furnace at a temperature of 250 degrees centigrade. This polymerizes the paint and also has an important effect on hardness, adhesion and mechanical and chemical resistance properties. Throughout the whole color coat process, extensive quality monitoring is carried out, visual inspection, offline laboratory checks and surface quality inspections all contribute to ensure that the highest standards and customer specifications are met.